What's up course heroes welcome to yet another video I am your boy Amit and today we are going to look at the sessions AppSumo lifetime deal that starts at $49 replace your zoom with sessions I've been using it for a while I love it so let's get right into the review in All right, so before we dive into sessions, let's look at their AppSumo deal. Included with each one of these codes, you have unlimited sessions, 25 speakers on screen, embed files, landing pages. Let's get to the dollar amounts. For the one code, which I think is plenty for most, I actually did purchase one code. Single code, you get 15 team member accounts, about 45 participants per session, and then three hour long sessions. If you wanted to have more than 45 participants, if you're comparing this to Zoom, you could go up to 90 for $100, 150 for $200, and then the highest tier, which is tier five for $700, you can get up to 1,000 participants per session. That's a lot of participants. Regardless of what your needs are, you're most likely covered in this. You also get unlimited memory, you get standard analytics on this, anything above the tier one plan. And then three events per month. Events is like their webinars and then AI co-pilot. I do have most of this stuff in my free plan. I'm guessing that once this deal is over on AppSumo, they'll probably downgrade their free plan holders so they can stay true to their deal. Let's get right into it. So once you are logged in, this will be your dashboard. Here you can do a few things. You can start a session right away. You can schedule one for a later date or you can create an event or workshop. You'll also see on the right side here, this will show you your today's sessions. And if you have created a room, which is like one click go live, then you will see your room right here. Let's go through a couple of these options, right? Starting a session right away. It gives you a session link. Oh, hey, I'm on screen. I did, I'm not too impressed with their backgrounds. It isn't as good as Zoom. So if I'm looking at these video backgrounds, I'm always comparing it to Zoom. It's not the greatest. You can go into your video settings, go to your background effects and choose no effect. You can also add a blur, but you can see it, the facial recognition or just human body recognition isn't the greatest. You can also upload your custom images or choose from one of their backgrounds. In audio, you can pick your mic and your speaker and also enable noise reduction. And then in video settings, you can pick your camera. You can hide self view. So when you're on camera, maybe you just don't want to see yourself. You can hide that. And then you can also mirror your self view, flip the camera. And then we have our standard functionality here. Now, now this session is already live as you can see up top here. And I can simply copy this link, share it with whoever I want to share it with, and then they'll be able to join this session. And once they join, I can also share my screen or I can share any of these things. The embed tool option allows you to say, start a whiteboard session with someone that you have invited. And that simply opens up the whiteboard right in your browser and you can start using it. I do like how snappy and quick everything is. It works great within the browser and you don't have to do anything other than just start sharing screen. I can go ahead and remove that tool and I'll come back to my session screen. I have noticed that when I start sharing my screen, the person on the other side has to press this button to be able to see it full screen. So they don't always know that there is this tiny little square that they have to hit for in, in order to see your content full screen. You can also record your session and there's some emoticons you can use like raising your hand or applause, etc. And then sharing, you can, if you just go to share screen, it'll give the option to select which screen to share. And now you're sharing screen and then your participants will be able to see exactly what you're seeing. Some other things to note here within your session is this session is currently unlocked, which means anyone with this link can join this session. Now, if I wanted to lock this, What's going to happen is anyone trying to use this link is going to be asked to be let in versus just directly joining the session. So I'm incognito. They they'll need to give their name and then they can request to join. So I put in my name and now I can request to join. 
what this is going to do is it's going to send me a notification here that someone wants to join this session. Once I hit admit, they are able to join the session. So now I can see there is a second participant in here. So let's go ahead and kick this participant out so we can remove them from the session. And that leaves only us in the session. At the bottom here, there are some really cool features. Chat, of course, you can chat with your participants. You can upload files, etc. Polls, something cool in polls. And especially if you're in the app sumo deal, you get the AI co-pilot is that let's say I'm going to create a poll and let's give this poll a topic. You can just give this AI co-pilot a topic and hit generate and you will be given those poll options right here. If you don't like those options, you can try again. And once you have some options, you can still go ahead and manually edit them. So if I just say use this in a poll, I can simply add my options in here and continue to enhance that poll. And you, then you can choose whether participants will be able to choose multiple or single choice or free text. And then on right here, you can choose whether you want to show the results of that poll to the participants. And if so, you can even make those results anonymous, which is pretty cool. Once you have made your selections, you can simply click start poll. This will then show up on everyone's screen. And once they have made the selection and submitted, they will be able to see the poll results. Now, since I'm logged in as admin, I obviously get to see my own result, but if there were other participants, they won't be able to see who voted for which option. So I really like that. And then once you're done, you can click on end poll. This way no one else will be able to take that poll once you have ended it. Q&A is people can submit anonymous questions or anonymous and then you can answer those questions. And then notes, you can take your notes during your webinar, your meeting with a client. And you can also connect Evernote or Notion in here. I haven't done that connection yet, but that's another powerful thing that Sessions has added is the ability to connect to Evernote or Notion. And then takeaways, you can just simply debrief your meeting and put in all your key takeaways. And then transcript allows you to add transcript. So if I start transcription, it's going to start transcribing as I am talking. So we can stop that transcription. Up top here, you can see it says transcribed sessions in real time. Now for the participants, once you have started a session, you can choose here what happens with the participant. You can mute and stop cameras for all attendees. This is like the core of how the sessions meetings work. On top here, you have some more settings, which will essentially bring you back to that same screen we got to earlier by using the video settings options here. So we saw video settings, audio settings and background effects. Furthermore, you can also choose general settings. Under here you have sessions, access and notifications. So now that you've seen the basics, let's go into some of the bells and whistles of sessions. We're going to end this session for all and go back here to our home page. So here you can schedule a session for future. Again, I can give it a name, add description and schedule it. And this would be, let's say you're charging for a session. You can go ahead and schedule it here. Then you can invite your participants. You can also add an agenda. I love this functionality. So if you have the same meeting over and over again, with different people, let's say you offer one on one coaching sessions, you can add your agendas in here. So this is one of my saved agendas. But in general, you can pick the date and time for this session, and then you can share this with participants by inviting them, or you can just copy a link and send it to them. So I'm going to fill these details out and then let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right. So I've added my session name, my description, and I've scheduled it for a future date along with my time zone. I can repeat it if I want to. So I'm going to leave that as do not repeat. I like this functionality where you can add reminders and this will send reminder emails to your participants reminding them that the session is starting. Or I can copy this session link and share it with someone who I'd like to invite. When they go to this link, they'll be able to book that session. As you can see, here's the link page for that session. And then once you share that link, they will be able to go and join that session. Now, this session doesn't start till for 21 days, which means I'm obviously not able to join it and there's no join button here. So that's pretty cool. I use that all the time for future sessions. Then you can also create an event. That event you can also get to on the left here. We'll see there's memory. 
Memory is where all your session recordings go. And you can also share that recording with your participants. You can download that recording if you want, or you can delete it. Calendar gives you a view of all your upcoming sessions for the month. Then book me, another cool feature where you can create a booking link. And if we look at this booking page, people can book a meeting on your calendar. So if I was to book a meeting on the 16th, I can just plug in my details and make that booking. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that this also allows the booker to add more people. But I'm just going to leave it as is for now and hit schedule session. Now this is going to put this session on my calendar and your guests can also go to the session lobby. But because this is for a future date and time, it obviously hasn't started yet. Now, if I go in here and look at my calendar, I see there's a new booking here for the 16th of August. I can see who it's with and I can enter the lobby and start the session now if I wanted to. So that's the book me one. And you'll see there is a new flag here. This is to show you that the, hey, there is a new booking on your calendar and you can click on here and see that new booking. Events is like webinars. So if we go back to our AppSumo deal, for events, you can have in the $99 plan, three events per month. In the $49 plan, I don't see any events included. The higher tiers have more events per month. Here's an event that I created. This one is all about beekeeping. You can edit this URL or you can copy it. So I've added the event name, the event description, and then also given it my date and time. You can collaborate with other co-hosts for that event and then on the left side here you have your speakers within the speaker details you can also have their speaker bio and this is what's going to show up on the event booking page which I'm going to show you in a minute agenda we already looked at what agendas look I'm actually going to walk you through where those agendas are and how to set them once you have your agenda you can also add speakers to a specific agenda so if you have a multi-day event and each speaker is going to speak about something else, you can add those agendas and then you can change who those speakers are going to be for that very specific item within your agenda. So if here I want to add another agenda item, I can go ahead and add a speaker connected to that specific agenda item. Then you can add notes for your speakers or you can also add and or you can also add resources. So I can click the add resource button and I can, let's say, include a PowerPoint for this specific agenda item. During the session, when that agenda is being shared, that specific resource can also be shared. Under advanced setting, you can choose whether this is a webinar, interactive live workshop, or custom settings. And if you change any of these settings, it's automatically going to change it to custom. So we're going to stick to webinar. And you can go through all of these options. These are pretty standard. And then on the registration page, so the registration and landing is what drives your registration page. So this is the form name and also the description. One thing that I'm not able to find here is how to disable the last name. I don't have the option to do that, but I can turn the registration form off if you don't want to collect those details. If you add a registration form, it always adds first, last, and email, and there's no way to remove that last name that I could find. And then the landing page is for your branding. So you can put your banner image here, choose your primary colors, and then also add your social URLs. Participants will show you all the participants that have registered for this event. And then for sharing and tracking, you could create UTM uh, parameters, but this will also show you how many people have landed on that specific landing page. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our landing page for this event. You can see the date and the time of the event. You can see that the registration is active. You can see there's a button here. Because I'm not incognito, it's showing me a start button. But if I was to go incognito, now it's changed to the register button. And when I press register, it's asking me for those form details, which were the first name, last name, and email. So this heading and description comes from the event name and event description. And then the speakers come from where you have selected the speakers for that event. And then further down, the agenda is pulling from 
this agenda option here. And then rooms is your instant live room. What's cool about this is your link never changes. So you can always have this in your signature or you can have it on a chatbot where if someone wants to enter into a live chat with you, they can simply go to that room and you don't have to worry about having dynamic links that change all the time. For resources, you we already looked at tools, files is where you can upload any file that you want to use as a resource during a session. That could be during a webinar, that could be during a one-on-one -on -one event, you can share those resources. And then agendas, I can create a new agenda. And again, I can use an, the AI co-pilot here or I can just type in my agenda items. So using the co-pilot, I can say create an agenda for a beekeeping webinar. All right, here's what I got for my agenda. Introduction to beekeeping, equipments and tools, installation and maintenance, honey production, common bee diseases, and q and I love it all. I'm just going to say use agenda and replace the current agenda. And then here you can choose how long each agenda item is going to be. Each of these is 10 minutes and then we're going to leave the most amount of time for Q&A. Once done, I can preview that agenda and I can scroll through and see all the agenda items and even the time that's allotted to that specific agenda item. You can also click in the bottom left corner here and go into your account settings, look at release notes, look at your contacts, all that fun stuff. So just to remind you again, this one is currently live on AppSumo, starts at $49. I think this is a great deal. Don't let this go by. And there you have it, Course Heroes. That's how you can use sessions to run your online meetings, to run webinars. Check out the deal. I'll put that link in the description. And don't forget to put your comments in the description and also hit subscribe so you get notified next time I release a new video. And until next time, keep creating.